Hi, everyone, and welcome to our video on widgets. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the four widgets in the Boken platform. I'll show you how to set up the widgets and generate the code you need to upload them to your website. We'll take a preview look at how the widgets would look once they're on your site. And then finally, I'll show you a little bit about how to customize the widgets to go along with the look and feel of your website. So to get started, I'm going to click on Online Sales Tools. And this will bring me to the widget dashboard. One nice thing about the dashboard is that you will always see this infographic, which uh, explains how to set up your widgets in a step-by-step -step process. Over here on the left, we can see the four different kinds of widgets. So that's going to be the button, the booking calendar, the product page, and the product list. Now the button is a transition widget that can open up into any of the other three widgets. So we're gonna use that as our example today. Now we're in the widget setting page for the booking button. So this preview over here on the right is a live preview, meaning that I can click through and go through the entire booking process. Uh, we will see what that looks like in a minute, but just to get started, we'll go ahead and set up the settings here. The first question is what is gonna happen when I click the button uh, or the button trigger, if you will. So I can choose, as I mentioned, for the button to open up into the calendar, the product page, or the product list. And we'll just set it to the calendar for now. The next question is, who is the supplier? Uh, that would be your company. So in this case, we're using our test account here, Adventure Tours. And then finally, we wanna select the specific experience that we want to generate a widget for. So I'll go ahead and choose an experience. Now you'll notice that I can click on the generate widget, uh, generate embed code button here, but there's also a button that says edit, ex uh, edit appearance. If I click on this, we can actually change uh, a lot about the button itself. I can change the text itself, the button radius, uh, which means whether I want to have rounded or squared edges on the button, the button padding, so that would be the size of the button itself, the shadow, the size of the font in the button, and finally the color both of the background and the text. So this is really nice as it allows you to change the book now button to say whatever you like and fit in with the look and feel of your site. Once that is all set, I can click on generate embed code. And this brings up the HTML code that we need to copy and paste into the back end of our website. Now we do have a help desk with articles that show you how to do this step-by-step. Step. And we have specific articles for platforms such as WordPress, Wix, or Squarespace. So I highly recommend that you take a look at our help desk for further information. But essentially what I would do is click on copy and embed code and then paste that into the back end of my site. So now we'll take a look at the preview just to see what the widgets are gonna look like once they're embedded. If I click on book now, I'll be brought to the calendar widget. So this is the simplest widget. Uh, essentially, it's exactly what it sounds like, a booking calendar where if I'm the customer, I can pick how many travelers there are gonna be, what date and time I'd like to take the tour, and I can proceed to the checkout from there. If I select the product page widget, I'll pick a different experience and we can see that there's gonna be a little bit more going on. So once I click on book now, the product page opens up. You can see there are some photos here at the top. Uh, there's a description of the tour, cancellation policy, further information on all of this can be set in the product settings. Um, it's great uh, for folks who do not have separate tour pages um, for each of their tours and would like to include a little bit more information, we certainly recommend the product page widget for that. And then the rest of the widget operates exactly like the calendar. So the last widget that you can open up using the button is the product list. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It'll show you a list of your products. So I have a few test lists here, but essentially instead of choosing the specific experience, I'll choose the list and then go ahead and click on the book now button once more. 
here are my list of products. And if I click into any of them, I'll be brought to the product page for that product. So once again, if I'm the traveler, I'm picking a date and time for the tour. And this time we'll proceed to the checkout just so we can see what that looks like. So here's the contact information that I'll enter. And then I would continue directly to the payment page. This is where I would enter my card information, or in this case, simply reserve the tour and pay on arrival. So now that we've taken a look at the preview for these widgets and how to embed the code, let's look at some of the settings that you can customize for the widgets. What we want to do is come up here to the top right and click Edit Channel. Now, it's important to note that this is going to bring up the settings page for the booking channel, which is, in this case, the website, in addition to the actual widget settings. So I'll just briefly touch on some of these other settings. Uh, we can choose the channel title, um, configure our payment provider here, and our language. For the checkout, we can choose to allow for a full payment only or other methods such as a deposit or payment on arrival, as I mentioned. Some of the checkout settings allow us to toggle whether we show the terms and conditions, if there are promo codes and gift cards allowed, and then what customer information we want to take at the time of the checkout. Once we get to the online sales header here, this is where we're actually editing the widget settings themselves. So you'll notice we get another preview here that pops up. And this is the uh, settings page for the calendar widget. So you'll notice the main option that we have is once a customer adds a tour to their cart, do you want it to go directly to the checkout or do you wanna show a message and notify the customer that they've added an item to their cart but not immediately take them to the checkout. So uh, that's one of the customizations. Uh, once again, we have some other options here that we can go through and they will pop up on the preview uh, on the right, as you can see, once we're going through. The product page widget has um, quite a few different settings that you can play around with and we won't go through every single one of these. By the way, you'll notice over here on the right, I can look at a preview for this on a mobile device, on a tablet, or on a laptop, which is kind of nice. The product list, again, has different settings um, that allow you to customize the widget based on how you'd like it to look. We also have the option to put the shopping cart icon on the left or the right-hand side. And then finally, the theme is going to be the color of your uh, widgets once the product page is opened up, uh, the color of your titles, I should say. So just a few other um, settings here. The website is our storefront. So this is how you would set up your storefront. If you do not have a website, this is a great option, or if your website's under construction. You can customize the front page of your storefront as well in the next setting. So you're able to add a text box, you're able to add uh, different content here, uh, and so on and so forth. Then the final settings that we have are uh, advanced settings, but I'll touch on them briefly. Uh, you can use e-commerce tracking uh, to track your Google Analytics. Um, there are settings here for the product distribution, which means um, who is able to distribute your products, uh, settings for the affiliates, uh, the tickets, and finally, the email notifications. So I hope this was helpful. I certainly encourage you to check out the online sales tools section of the Boken platform uh, because it's really something that we've been working on and are really excited about. Once again, thank you so much for choosing Boken, and please feel free to use our help desk for any further information.